Today is day 18 out of 30, and we're gonna be making a three course meal for myself. No one's home, so why not? What you need for this is pie crust, cheese, and some sort of meat. We don't have any meat, so we're uh, lunchable fake hams gonna have to do. At least I got a snack for while I cook. Now, since I am trying to make this in the air fryer, I don't know how I'm not, I'm gonna do it without like cupcake molds. But I'm gonna have this, I, I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try. Let's see how it ends up. I forgot we had to slice up our cheese too, so we're gonna do that real quick. Ah, oh, my dog's licking my toes. That's all I get, all that work, and that's all I get. I think while we're at it, we might as well just put pizza sauce in it too. All right, I'm just gonna continue this process. This is what it was looking like. Don't ask what happened with this one, because honestly, I don't know. This one probably looks the most perfect. These two, I don't know what happened here. Uh, we're gonna put them in the air fryer. Let's see how they come out. We're gonna do 400 for 12 minutes. Whoa! They look pretty good, not gonna lie. Now to make the best grilled cheese, you need sourdough bread, cheese, and butter. That simple. If you love me, you gotta work for the cold of love. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the fanciest thing I've done this video was these cheese empanadillas. That's basically what they were. They're not pies anymore. With that being said, I'm not making homemade soup. We got Rayo's chicken gnocchi. Uh, it, it probably tastes good, so we're going to make this. This is our soup. If you want to make homemade soup, go right ahead, but we're using this. cheese this place looks an absolute mess so let's clean it up that looks much better i'm gonna put my plate out and uh get ready to eat because the things are almost done so obviously we have to try our creation after so much hard work first we're gonna start off with these things they came out pretty crispy i won't lie they look pretty good cheers Okay. Mm. I picked one up with just cheese. Let's try this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. I would put it in the air fryer for a little bit longer, honestly. It's crispy, but on this side it isn't, so maybe I would flip it halfway through. See if that makes any difference. This one with the cheese, just cheese, not so much. We're gonna dip it in the soup. Mmm. Okay. Okay. The soup. The soup tastes like old people, if I'm gonna be completely honest. All right, now for the moment of truth, the grilled cheese. It looks amazing. Let's try it. Cheers. I did the over toast one side, but that's okay. This side is less crunchy than this side. It makes it a good, perfect texture for when you bite into it. I thought it was gonna be more cheesy, more cheese pull, no cheese pull, but the two cheeses that I put together, amazing, tastes good. Grilled cheese with butter is the way to go. Don't spray that stuff on it. That's not the way to go. You put a real little thing of butter in there like I did, and it's gonna taste amazing. All right, we're gonna try the soup now. Like I mentioned before, when I tasted the appetizer, it kind of tastes like old people, but I guess we'll see when we actually taste it by itself. Yeah, it tastes like old people. If you're wondering what the dessert part of the meal was, it's a s'more. Look up at this video to see how to make it in the air fryer, because I'm not telling you in this video. You gotta watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.